Look at the reach advantage, seven inches for Ben Saunders. Will he use it to keep the hard, hud, hard hitting Douglas Lima at a distance? Once again, here's Michael Williams. Live on Spike, Bellator MMA now presents the main event here at Bellator 100, a welterweight tournament final in the toughest tournament in sports. Sanctioned by the Arizona Boxing and MMA Commission, Chairman is Scott Fletcher, Executive Director Dennis O'Connell. Tonight's main event is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator MMA. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. And now, set for three five-minute rounds, introducing the red corner. At six foot three, weighing in at 169.4 pounds. Now, a two-time tournament finalist, he enters the cage with 16 professional victories, five losses, and two draws. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, introducing Ben Killaby Sanders. And across the cage, his opponent tonight fighting out of the blue corner at six foot one, weighing in at 169.9 pounds. The former tournament winner and world title challenger stands with 24 professional victories, five defeats. Originally from Goiânia, Goiás, Brazil, now out of Atlanta, Georgia, Douglas, the Phenom Lima. And the referee in control of the action, Jason Herzog. Fighters gone over the rules in the back. This is for the welterweight finals. Blue corner, you have no questions. Red corner, no final questions. Touch gloves, come on, ready to fight. $100,000 and a world title shot to the winner of this Bellator welterweight tournament final. That man, Ben Saunders, versus his friend, Douglas Lima, but the friendship, Jimmy, Fighting absolutely ready. on hold Fighting right ready. now. Fight. Round number one. Fight Clock is brought to you by Miller Lite, the official beer of Bellator. It's not just a good time, it's Miller time. You won't find two more likable guys in all of MMA. It's almost a shame to see them fighting, but I'm so excited about this fight tonight. Ben Saunders, he's in the black trunks. Douglas Lima, he's in the white trunks. That reach advantage, will Ben Saunders use that jab effectively? A lot of the, a lot of the time, his aggression takes away that reach advantage. He's always moving forward. That takes away your reach. Reach to Saunders, Jimmy, would you say power in striking to Lima? Yeah, definitely. He has more one-shot power. Where Ben has the one-shot finishing power is with his feet. Very accurate with his kicks. That'll put you down. Accurate kicks there. That was on the kneecap. Fighters landing kicks. Selena though targeting low. Love the waistline for Lima there on the kick. Ben Saunders more than like slice you up, wear you down kind of finisher. Lima hits you once, you don't know where you are. Ask Chris Lozano. Ben Saunders the first time. Brian Baker, he only needs one. Right hand from Lima, but not landing. See Saunders, Jimmy, trying to step into that pocket. Fake by Lima. Once again, is that a mistake? Should be on the outside, throwing that jab, making Douglas Lima come to him, maybe reach with that right hand. Nice. Side kick there, and that landed. Counter body kick by Lima, that landed. Fans at home, those kicks are hard. We can feel them from where they are, man. I don't know if the camera's giving it justice. With fighters throwing and landing effectively with their kicks. That right hand to the body. Kick caught. See Saunders closing distance immediately. Quickly giving up on that single leg. Knee to the thigh by Saunders. Knee to the stomach by Saunders. A little cut over the left eye of Ben Saunders. Doesn't look too bad yet. Outside of the left brow. I've talked about it before, the, the confidence or the edge of knowing I've been here before, 
these guys have trained together. They've been in all these positions with one another before. Kick just missed from Saunders. Okay, both fighters here in round number one opening up with the kicks. You see that blood on the shoulder of Douglas Lee. That's from the eye of Ben Saunders up in the clinch. Man, listen to that kick. High and tight for Douglas Lima. Loose her hands for Saunders. That's Lima landing with the left. It's a high inside thigh kick there landed by Saunders. Close first round, very much up for grabs. Scored on the Bellator app, you're the fourth judge. Bounce in the step of Saunders. This is with that head kick. Oh, that's a crushing kick there by Lima. That backed off Saunders. Doing a good job of blocking it with his arms. Didn't land flush. Still shook his entire body in his base. On the inside right, but it's Saunders coming in. I think Lima's finding his range a little bit better now. Staying out of that clinch. 40 seconds remaining round number one. Nice check. That's something not a lot of guys do. Turn toward it, took the steam off that kick. Referee Jason Herzog letting the action flow. No reason to step in. Both guys very busy. Very busy, high tempo, high pace to this nice fight. left hook. Final seconds of round number one. Scheduled for three rounds in this welterweight tournament final. That's round number one in the books. Tight round number one, Jimmy, how'd you see it? Very tight round number one. Douglas Lima, 10-9. I thought he found his range at the end, was landing some good strikes, also did a little more damage. You see the wear on the face of Ben Saunders, but very close first round. Bellator fans, you agree with Jimmy Smith on the Bellator app? Your vote has a 10-9 Lima round one. And I agree with his coach. Don't chase him around, don't extend, don't give him an opening for that right hand. Be aggressive, but you don't want to chase a guy. $100,000, a world title shot to the winner of this tournament final in the welterweight division. Come on, Ben! Ben! Bobby Robert, you see Ben Saunders' coach. Didn't put his mouthpiece in. I need you to set the case up. Saunders undefeated in his career, but Robert is in the corner. That's lucky for him, he has Jason Herzog. A lot of referees go, I don't care, it's not my fault you forgot it. Took Saunders a while to realize he forgot it too. Saunders has other things on his mind than a mouthpiece. Saunders now circling out, Douglas Lima coming forward. General rule of thumb, if your opponent hits harder than you do, you gotta hit him more. Then has to throw more combinations! Huge shot, now Lima looking to finish! Deja vu all over again, beautiful right hand! Rubber guard for Saunders, mission control trying to hold on desperately. He's in trouble, trying to recover. That was a bad shot. Blood, as you see, all over the face of Ben Saunders. That deep cut in the lid. Saunders knocked down, but not out. And that left eye is a disaster. That shot was right on the eye. Ben Saunders needs to finish this fight right now. I don't see a lot of doctors letting him go, even if he makes it out of this round, Sean. Talk about double urgency. He's hurt, he's bleeding, he's in trouble. If he goes back to the corner, man, good chance the doctor stops this fight. Right now, holding the open half guard on Douglas Lima. We'll see if Lima targets that eye. Look at Saunders wiping the blood away. Credit Ben Saunders' heart. 
His vision has to be almost nothing, one would think, in the left eye. That's finished. He's seeing one. Right now, he's seeing in two dimensions. Going for the leg lock. Not going to get it from there. It's not deep enough. And we're just trying to pop free. There's a sense of desperation for the finish you talked about from Saunders. He will not get it from here, I'm telling you. On cue, he does it. Game is out. Saunders back to his feet. Crowd is on their feet, as they should be. Spectacular heart and character from these two fighters. He is bloodied. He is desperate. He has no depth perception, but he has to land a knockout shot, in my opinion. I do not see a doctor letting this go to the third round. Look at Saunders' left eye almost fully closed. Whatever vision he has left is being obscured by that blood flow. Let's bring up the psychological issue here for Douglas Lima. His friend is hurt. He is bloodied. That eye is swollen shut. Will he go in for the kill at this point? That's a big question. He knows a good right hand might permanently damage that left eye, Sean. That could be a factor. Jimmy, a partial answer to your question. On the ground, top position, Lima was not targeting Saunders' eye. I mean, you know, detached retinas, eye damage can end a career. He knows it's swollen shut. Lima hasn't thrown a lot of significant strikes since that first big one. He might not want to hurt his friend. That, that could be the issue here. <laughs> or it could just be tired. 35 seconds remaining, round number two. Saunders dropped. Oh. Lima could not finish. This That's is over. The head kick. That is it. The head kick knockout. And there is the finish for Douglas Lima. Two Out. welterweight tournament finals. Two welterweight tournament victories. Out cold once again in a more devastating fashion. Ben Saunders still out, Douglas Lima victorious again. That kid's a beast, a monster at 170. Started out in trouble, left eye was cut, and then bang, look at that uppercut. Tried to finish on the ground, couldn't get it. Take a look at it again. Bang! Semi uppercut right to the chin. That eye is a total mess. Went for the finish, couldn't get it. And then when they were back on the feet, the body shot set it up, but it was that high kick right behind the ear. Ben Saunders is done. You saw it right there, the head kick knockout. Started out with that beautiful body shot to the liver. Outstanding boxing, beautiful combination shot. Ben Saunders is down and out. You see Douglas Lima, he's concerned about his good friend. Two warriors, my man. Douglas Lima, natural born finisher and ferocious on that finish with the head kick knockout. 25 pro MMA wins now for 25-year-old Brazilian by way of Atlanta, Douglas Lima. Let's go to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially four minutes, 33 seconds into round number two. The winner by knockout now, the winner of the welterweight tournament, Douglas, the Phenom Lima. Ben Saunders so dejected. Lima, muted celebration, does not want to punish his friend any further. Let's go to Jimmy. I'm here with your winner, Douglas the Phenom Lima. Right here, my man. Douglas, I know it's gotta be a lot of mixed emotions right now. A new baby, a welterweight tournament championship over your good friend, Ben Saunders. Just tell me how you're feeling right now, man. First and foremost, I want to thank God for this victory. Uh, you know, you put the right people in my life. I'm very thankful for that. I want to dedicate this, you know, this victory for my beautiful baby daughter. Uh, I love you so much, baby. And uh, I feel good, man. I think I freaking broke my hand again on the first round. So pissed about that. But man, Ben Sanders, the Warriors, heads up for him. 
Uh, you know, it happens, man. Somebody's got to lose. Let's give it up for your welterweight tournament champion, Douglas the Phenom Lima, ladies and gentlemen.